Are you struggling in your life, struggling to find balance and fulfillment in your relationships, career, health, or other areas? Do you want a more meaningful and purposeful life, but you don't know where to start? If so, you might benefit from the concept of the level 10 life. So the level 10 life is a way of assessing and rating different areas of your life on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest possible score. And by doing so, you can identify areas that need improvement and create a plan to work on them. So I'm going to share with you some tips and strategies for living a level 10 life. Hi, I'm Leslie. I help people on the struggle bus get off the struggle bus and into physical, emotional, and mental well-being. And our focus today is going to be on living a level 10 life and what that is and how you can go about doing that. So let's begin with what a level 10 life is. So it's a concept that's popularized by the author and motivational speaker Hal Elrod in his book, The Miracle Morning. The level 10 life is a way of assessing and rating different areas of your life on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest possible score. And the 10 areas of life that are commonly included in a level 10 life assessment are friends and family, personal development, spirituality, finances, career and business, significant others, fun and recreation, your physical environment, health and fitness, and giving back or contribution. So by assessing each of these areas of your life and rating them on a scale of one to 10, you can identify the areas that need improvement and create a plan to work on them. So let's begin by the assessment process. So take some time to reflect on each one of these areas in your life, including your relationships, career, health, and spirituality and rate each one on a 1 to 10 scale. Be honest with yourself. You can use a journal to draw a circle and divide it into 8 to 10 different sections and then divide those lines into 10 sections as well. And mark this on a scale of levels 1 to 10 by coloring it in. Or you can also just create a list and write the number down out there. So what you should be doing is looking at your rating these scales and then going back and looking back after you have take, set goals and taken action upon that, then you can um, be able to see where you've come and where your progress is. So you can also just list each area and write the number down. I already said that. Then your goal would be to just focus on one aspect of the one that is your lowest or that needs the most current attention. So follow the next steps on your way to living your levels in life. It can also be important to understand and visualize what a level 10 would look like for you in each one of those areas because it's going to be different for different people. The next thing that you're going to do is set goals. So once you've assessed your life, set a goal in each one of those areas. Use the visual visualization of what a level 10 life is to create the goal that you want to achieve. Be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, or having a SMART goal in your goal setting. Break your goals down into smaller, actionable steps that you can take every day or week to work towards achieving them. It can be a good idea to have an overall goal, and then smaller goals, and then maybe a monthly habit, a weekly habit, or a daily habit. The next thing that you want to do is to be able to take action. It's the most important step in living a level 10 life is to take action towards your goals. And this means being consistent and disciplined in your daily habits and routines. For example, if your goal is to improve your health and fitness, commit to exercising for 30 minutes a day, drinking more water, and eating a balanced diet. You want to make sure that your action connects to your identity and the person that you want to be. Because you're not going to do it if you're not identifying as, I am the person who X, Y, Z. Um, so make sure that you are identifying with what your goal actually is. You can also connect this habit to something that you're already doing. So for example, after my morning coffee, I'm going to drink a cup of water. For a look at true progress, keeping a habit tracker or making your 
and marking your successes can keep you accountable. Then we want to look at gratitude. And gratitude is an, a powerful tool for cultivating a positive mindset and improving your overall well-being. Take the time each day to reflect on what you are grateful for and write it down in a gratitude journal. This can help you shift your focus from what you lack to what you have and appreciate the blessings in your life. And when you're working towards improvement, it can be difficult to see how far you have left to go. But gratitude can be the one thing that keeps you pushing you to see the growth that you've actually been making. In a level 10 life, it can be challenging and it's important to have support along the way. So make sure that you're seeking support. This might include a coach, a mentor, a therapist, or an accountability partner who can provide guidance, feedback, and encouragement. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you and avoid those who bring you down. So when you're assessing your different areas in your life, it might be a great idea to also write a name of someone you know or even that you just follow online who can uplift and inspire you in that particular area. Remember that one person is not really enough for us to learn and grow from, but we need to create our own community of people and mentors that are more experts in their field so that we can become better for ourselves. The other idea is to embrace failure. So living a level 10 life is not about perfection, but it's about progress. I mean, we're all on a journey of life, right? So we're not going to get to a specific destination. We're always just going to be living and improving your own life is just going to make you happier and healthier. You will inevitably experience setbacks and failures along the way, but it's important to view them as opportunities for learning and growth. Don't be afraid to try new things, take risk, like educated risk, of course, and step outside of your comfort zone. The only way to growth is through being uncomfortable, and that typically comes with failure. I have a hard time with the word failure, though, and I do not ever really use that word in my thinking process. I don't ever want to tell myself, well, you failed at that. Um, that's not really how I approach it from a mindset standpoint, but I know failure sometimes can draw people's attention. So I would rather say I struggled with something or something was difficult for me to overcome, but I learned from it. So really ultimately it is embrace the learn, move forward the, the knowledge in how you want to do something or what needs to be done because failure it's not really about embracing the failure because you can say, I failed this, I failed that. But if you don't actually learn from that, it's going to do you absolutely no good. So embrace the learn. And another um, final thing that you need to be doing in a level 10 life is celebrating. Celebrate your successes along the way. Taking time to acknowledge and appreciate your progress and reward yourself for achieving your goals. And this will help you stay motivated and inspired to continue living a level 10 life. You can celebrate your successes by treating yourself, sharing it with someone, taking a break, celebrating with others through a gathering or a party, giving back by volunteering or providing donations, and reflection and planning for your future. Living a level 10 life is about striving for balance and excellence in all areas of your life and working towards your goals with intention and purpose. By assessing your life, setting goals, taking action, practicing gratitude, seeking support, embracing failure, and celebrating success, you can create a fulfilling and satisfying life that aligns with your values and vision. So I've created a free template on Canva that's sort of like a planner to how to have a level 10 life. And I will link and show you exactly what this looks like, but I have set um, a page for each of those areas. This is my level 10 life template on Canva. And this is the health part where I set my daily habits, weekly habits and monthly. This one is on marriage. And I have uh, the career one to build a business my physical environment to keep a home clean and welcoming. This is a checklist for monthly and yearly cleaning. This is to stay connected to the people who are important to me. 
This is to enjoy my life and take time to relax. This is to keep a strong relationship with God. This one is to maintain a lifestyle of physical, mental, and emotional well-being. I didn't do the contribution, but I still have some habits and, and weekly contributions. To be financially capable of a full-time travel after retirement and a monthly money review sheet. Thank you.